welcome back to my channel we're here September 6th in the morning one thing to notice is a lot of people selling presents that is because tomorrow is teacher's day and it's actually quite a big deal in Lao as well as many other countries in the in Asia and this region which is quite nice you know there's a lot of respect and gratitude shown shown to the teachers the very important people in our lives and they buy presents there's celebration a lot of times school is closed however that's not the only thing we're doing in this video. Actually, I'm out here for a quick walk to grab some breakfast. And I'd like to introduce you to the legend, Mr. Air, who I come by from on the regular at my local market. He sells right here on the corner with his wife. And today, Looks like we got a special guest. Looks like they have their son sitting over there with them. Actually, I already walked over here once and they just had gotten here and hadn't grilled anything yet. So I've been wanting to film this to show everybody. So I went home and grabbed my camera and we're back. I right, got my out. โอ้ยยักเขายังแห้งนะโอเคเราเราบอกเราล่ะคันบอกไว้เปิดมาค่ะนี่สิโอ้ยเดี๋ยวมันมาแล้วปลาสองโตทูกริลฟิชสมแจ
Uh, it's called fish eggs, but it's not actually, I don't think it's... Men kai pa, kai pa ba. Men kai pa, kai pa ba. Oh, it really is fish eggs. I thought it wasn't, but I really like that dish. And then you have fish, and crab, brain, duck. This one, she said, is a kind of, it's a kind of uh, mushroom. Got all kinds of stuff. เอ่อมีอีกนิดนึงเอาเอามกมกน้องไม้นําเอ่อกับมกไข่ปลาหนึ่งบ๊อกเอ่อลองมกนิดนึงบ๊อกเอ่อมกมักตี้กับมกไข
Man, I'm scared of that one. <laughs> I'm scared of this one. Let's see. Let's try this one first. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Yep. This is the fish eggs. Mmm. Very distinct flavor. There's also a dish uh, called kaipa. Like, it's a fish egg dish. It's really, really nice. This is done mok style, the steam style in the ba banana leaves. It's also very nice. Mmm. Bit spicy. Got the herbal flavors. And different herbs in there. And then very distinct kaipa flavor. For some of you, I don't know if this would be the your dish of choices to kind of have a fishy flavor. But I quite like it. Now, let's jump jump mok no my lord. Mmm. So far, this is the winner. Love this dish. Now, for the one that's scaring me, <laughs> can be some extreme flavors, y'all. Let's go for it. Seaweed. Whoa. I am very, very surprised. It's not bitter at all. It's not bitter at all. Wow, I need another bite. That was really incredible. It's got this very thick, like, hair in my wrist. <laughs> it's got this thick, like, slime, gooey texture to it. So maybe throw you off, but Give it a shot. Hmm. It's very mild flavored. I would not have guessed that. Let's get a close up of all these. I don't know how good the light is, but take that sticky rice, get it in there. Oh man. Mm hmm. This is how you start your day off with a smile. Wow. This one, I can't get enough of. You see the dill in there, so it's got some paksi lao dill. Um, what else do we have in there? Onions. Chilies, of course. It's just such a balanced flavor. Was it a little salty? I mean, all of these are extremely er herbal flavors, which is normal for Lao food. Got lots of different herbs and stuff in there. I'm I, I'm hooked on this. This one, mm, also just like Kai Pa, you have to be in the mood, I think, for this flavor profile. But I do enjoy it as well. Probably gonna save the rest of this for when my care the caretaker of the property here that I rent comes and you know eat together. I like to share with him whatever I buy because he usually doesn't come with a whole lot of food. So and it's not a lot. Let's let's give him a you know a nice variety of stuff to eat. Hmm. I also want some pink pie that I have here. We got our. So this is an eggplant dipping sauce that is heavenly. Absolutely heavenly. Love that for breakfast, whether I'm having eggs or fish or whatever. It's lovely. All right. Well, I think that's it. I'm starving. Let's dig in. I'll see you soon.